Good morning. Happy Friday. Mm. So nice and warm. Hello, hello. I am a little bit early with the dingling. Um, I just couldn't wait to see you guys uh, due to the fact that it has been one of those um, super, super, super really long weeks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Sabrina. Hey, Rebecca. So, <clears throat> hey, Stace. It has been uh, a doozy, a doozy, if you will, of a week. But I would like to welcome you all because we have made it to Friday, and thus we are here on Bulletproof Filter-Free Friday, and um, we have coffee. Good morning, Paige and Joy. Dawn and Ann, good morning, good morning, good morning. And so it is Bulletproof Filter Friday. And if you have not been over there, um, just to check out uh, all of the different types of coffees that they have. I told you, I think last, not last, did I tell you last week or the week before I would switched to Mentalist? I'm really liking this stuff. So if you've not headed over there before, the link above when Filter Free is done, go check it out. There is a promo code for 10% off. Um, but uh, it is, this stuff, I'm just, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on uh, on this new, on this new, um, I, I guess, bean, Mentalist, is, a, is a, a, a blend, if you will. So it is delightful. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Christy. Hey, Denise. Oh, we need, we need, you guys need rain? We need rain, Kim. We totally need rain. Um, our, our, well, it's not even a lake anymore. Our puddle in the backyard. <laughs> Woo! Shrinking. Severely shrinking. It is, um, rough. And this morning, which makes me a little nervous, and I have not turned the TV on to, sometimes I put the TV on to the local news for background noise. Um... I smelled fire, which is never good because we do have, um, there's the dangling. Wow, I was way early. <laughs> um, I smelled fire, which is very, which is not good because we get brush fires this time of year and they get bad. They get bad. So, hey, Samantha. Hey, Gina. Um, oh, I did. I have, <laughs> I have two coffee makers. Um, I have a Keurig, thanks to somebody very special, uh, that I got the switch out filter so I can brew one cup if I want. And then I have a KitchenAid that the business manager got for me. And um, that one is my, um, I'll brew if I'm brewing for, you know, you know, more than one or, you know, sometimes four <laughs> for myself. <laughs> oh, hey, Michelle in Minnesota. Hello, hello. Are you like my, we call these the, um, the uh, earmuffs. April would like to let everybody know that she is officially divorced. It is a happy Friday. So congrats. If that, <laughs> I'm glad that you are happy. I am glad that you are in a good place. I am glad that you are here with us. So these are all good things that we should be happy about here on this Friday. Um, when something ends, something else begins. And that's how it goes. Oh, it's raining in Colorado. Hey, Chastity. Yeah, brush fires are rough, and it's hard to contain them, and, you know, it's, with it being so dry, they just spread. Hence, I would assume, spreads like a wildfire. <laughs> Seriously, my jokes be rough today. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Hey, Lisa Marie. So, let's recap the week, shall we? Um, things that my children did this week, and you guys can fill in, in the feed as well and let me know things that your children have done this week. So, things my children have done this week. Um, let's see. I figured out that they're apparently using the IKEA storage bin system as um, a trash can because they are so lazy they don't want to get off the couch when they're watching TV to walk to the trash can. So we have that. I found, I don't know how many granola bar wrappers, fruit snack wrappers, and um, uh, applesauce squeeze packs uh, in those toy bins, but it was way too many. Okay, hey Megan, hey Amanda. So apparently it is too much of a hassle to get up from the couch to come into the kitchen and use the, um, 
use the trash can. So we're just using toy bins now. Now somebody posted in that feed that their daughter had been taking juice boxes into their room, which was not allowed. And the reason they figured that out was they went in to periodically um, clean out, you know, toy bins like we do. And she found like eight juice boxes in the bottom of one of her doll toy bins and they were all moldy and had to throw them out because the juice had leaked. So we've all experienced that. I'd have to say. So, um, gross. Kids are gross. Kids are yucky. Yeah, okay, Jennifer says, my middle, my middle child and my husband do that. And you do. You find them in between the couch cushions. And I moved the couch. <laughs> we, I can't say we, we didn't redo anything, but we moved the couch because we wanted to see if this gray chair that used to be over there would fit over here. And it does, and it's fine. But we moved the couch. So, of course, when we're moving the couch, I'm like, let me go get the vacuum. I'll clean this up. I found so much food, Legos. Um, oh, chocolate syrup handprints on the wall, Melissa. Uh, you sure it's chocolate syrup? <laughs> Are you sure? Did you smell? I don't know if that's chocolate syrup. Um, we found so much stuff, nasty, gross stuff in underneath this couch. And I was finding stuff that I was like, when did we even have that? How long have we had that? We, we, I haven't seen this toy in a year. Have I not cleaned under the couch in a year? And that's true. I've not cleaned under the couch in a year. Why? I don't care. I don't care what's under the couch. Okay. <gasps> okay. So there was that. Then my son, who's 11 and should know way better than this, my 11-year-old son decided, if you weren't here on Wednesday, decided to um, brush the dog with my hairbrush. And um, he decided, he comes out and he's like, oh, mom, Daphne loves to get brushed. Look how nice she sits here. And so I see him take my hairbrush and brushing down the dog's back, right here, down this very, this very pupper's back. And then he starts doing one of these to her and she's going, oh yeah, oh yeah. And I'm going, that is my hairbrush. Why are you using my hairbrush on the schnauzer? Okay. I love her. I don't want to share a hairbrush with her. Okay. Gross. Gross. So yes. So then he's like, oh, don't worry, I can clean it out. I'm like, how are you going to clean it out? How are you going to clean it out? Her hair, her, it's, so that, that was, um, that was one thing that, that, that happened. Let's see what, <laughs> let's see what other remarkable things my children have done to me this week. Um, I don't know. Let's see what your, I, I know that there's more. Oh, so then this morning, so this morning, Narnia. Lorianne says, under my couch is Narnia. That is perfect. That is a genius way to put what is under your couch. Narnia. <laughs> Narnia. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> Um, what kind of, Amanda, this is bulletproof and you, you can click the link at the top and there's a promo code for 10% off right now. Meredith 10, they'll ship it right to your door. It's foamy because after I brew it, I stick it in the blender and I whip it up. I add some vanilla, I add some, um, butter, unsalted, and I add, um, some, depending on the day I add octane, which sounds weird and all, and, uh, like scary, but it's not, it's, uh, it's, getting energy from the right kind of fat and it's a delight so anyway let's see what else we got here my husband found a chocolate chip in his pot oh it's going too fast um permanent marker and crayon off the wall oh we need some tips on how to get permanent marker and crayon off the wall that i don't know i leave it it's a new painting it's a new decoration at my house and it's everywhere i um was sitting with the kids at the kitchen table this morning as we were getting ready and um, I was sitting there and my oldest and youngest, my oldest was helping my youngest finish his homework because he, he magically found a packet of homework that had not gotten done at 6.50 this morning. So this magic packet shows up at 6.50 and my oldest says, I'll help you. And so I'm sitting and finishing the last piece of homework that my daughter has for the week and so I'm going through her timed reading because you have to do fluency every day. Um, 
And so I, um, I'm timing her and I'm listening to them and he's being so sweet with him and they're doing such a nice job together. And I'm going, I'm sitting here, I'm going, gosh, what a beautiful parenting moment. I'm just, my heart was, my heart was so happy. I'm looking at them. 11 year old is being so sweet to my, to my six year old. My daughter is reading so beautifully to me. And then all of a sudden my six year old got ticked and he smacked my 11 year old right in the middle of, the, of his eyes, right on his forehead with the pencil. And he said, stop helping me. I don't need your help anymore. And then my daughter comes over to pull my face to look at her. Mom, you're not even paying attention. The timer went off and I didn't get to count my, and it was just erased. That magical, beautiful, heart swelling moment had been erased as he, as he smacks his brother between the eyes with the pencil and she twist my neck into every which way to let me know that I had um, was not paying attention to her fluency reading. Mind you, this is 6.50 a.m. and we're trying to finish homework because it's Friday and the homework packets are due. And I hate homework. I hate homework. I didn't like homework when I was in school. I definitely don't like doing homework now with my children at 36 going on 37. So there's that. So, okay. So it was, it was this beautiful moment that turned into the meme that I made today that went up. That is, you know, whatever I said, parenting, it's a toss up. It's either this beautiful heart smelling, heart swelling, joyous moment, or it's a hot fire, a hot poker colonoscopy. It's a toss up. Parenting is either wonderful and joyous, or it's a hot poker colonoscopy. And somebody also pointed out to me, <laughs> This was hysterical. Somebody else also pointed out to me that I could interchange children and parenting with marriage. Marriage is either joyous and wonderful and lovely or a hot poker colonoscopy. So apparently we can um, we can just interchange that meme next week. I'll just put marriage at the top and it'll do its job. But it's like seriously, what the heck? And 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 how, why are we not? Why are we still doing homework? It's April twenty first. It is April twenty first. Can we quit homework, please? Come on, teachers. You have taught enough this year. Let's 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 let it slide a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let's let it slide for just a little bit. Cause I'm I'm like I'm creeping in on done. You know what I'm saying? I am creeping in on done in terms of um the day. Oh good. So somebody else had that morning too. Rubbing alcohol, they're saying for Sharpie. Rubbing alcohol. Oh, uh, Lori doesn't have to look at homework anymore because her, her kids are in college. Well, that is a delight. <laughs> that is a delight. Uh, Kristen also hates homework because she has to fight with her fourth grader to do it. I know, Heather. I feel ya. Hey, Cheryl. Going to me. I'll send. Oh, oh Lori Ann is going to send us a picture of her couch to make us all feel better about the couches that we have. We should probably do a thread like that. We should play. Oh, you know how Chris Pratt plays What's My Snack? We should play What's in the Couch? What's in the Couch? What's in the Couch? And then we can take pictures of all the crap that we find in our couches. Oh, that's a great idea. We're going to do that. We're going to have to play What's in My Couch instead of What's My Snack. Uh, our kids are out May 20 something last, last week of May, last day of May or something. Whenever, when is Memorial day? It's like that, that week. That's when ours out. And, and that's because we have built in hurricane days and I don't think we took any, I don't think we took any, uh, hurricane days. Oh, let's see. Thieves oil removes crayon and Sharpie artwork. Well, that's nice. I didn't know that. All right, moving on. What else do we got rocking and rolling here? Uh, Carly, Carly said her daughter goes to kindergarten in the fall, and she is really um, upset about the whole homework situation. Look, I know. I don't, you know what I mean? I get it. We're teaching them the things, like the reading and the writing and the whatnot. But I tell you what, when you have three of them, it, what, let's be honest, if you just have the one, you don't want to do it, right? And then it just gets compounded, you know? And then they try to help each other, and then you have a wrestling match right there at the kitchen table, you know? And then, oh, and then another lovely thing that my kids were doing, 
Here's, here, this one is super gross. This one is super gross. You guys don't have to admit if your children do this or not, but I will come out and I will say it, and I will be honest and let you know. My children were farting on each other's faces yesterday, and I had to explain to them, I had to explain to them that that's how you get pink eye. Okay, let's not fart in each other's faces and get the fart particles in our eyeballs, okay? Because nobody wants pink eye. That's nasty. Stop being gross. Why would you fart on someone's face? I don't want to be in the room with you when you fart, let alone have it near my face. And they were almost, I want to say they were taking turns because nobody was telling on the other. Okay, nobody was telling on the other. So it wasn't like he farted on me and farted in my face and I wanted him to stop. Nobody was saying that. It was like a welcomed fart in the face. Okay, that's been my parenting week. A welcome fart to the face. Okay, it is just, it has been one of those just non-stoppers. Okay, homework, farting in the face, my nice hairbrush getting used on the, on the schnauzer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody is admitting that their children fart on each other. All right, I just didn't know. I didn't know if it was only mine. But I thought, you know, a fart in the face, really? That's where we're going with this? A fart in the face. Okay. Yeah, and then, of course, you all saw my mini meltdown. What was it, yesterday morning? Did I have the, I think it was yesterday morning. I had my mini meltdown sitting here. I just needed to vent. It just. It doesn't end. <laughs> it doesn't end. The burping in the face. Oh, that I, I I guess that's not worse, but it's super gross. Burps are super stinky too. I, I I don't know. That's pretty nasty. Yeah. Well, Priscilla, I gotta be honest, that's all I have, you know. We were actually talking, and this would probably be a good time to bring this up because I bet you guys I bet you guys have thought about this. Um and I was talking with um, I was talking with a friend about this, and then I was also t I was talking with Eric about it before, and, and a couple of other um, couple of other people. But have you guys ever heard of um, imposter syndrome? Have you guys heard of that? So imposter syndrome is something that it primarily affects women. Go figure. And imposter syndrome is basically when you have you you have this thought that you're always going to be found out. Like no matter how well you're doing at work or how well you're doing um, with, with, with some hobby you have or something that you do, you always feel like you're waiting to get found out. Like people are gonna know, people are gonna find out about me. People are gonna realize that I'm just an imposter and I'm, I'm fake and I'm uh, a sham and people are gonna find out um, people are gonna find out all of these things, and I had I was ha I've been having these feelings for a long time. Let me tell you about that. I've been having these feelings for a long. Like people are gonna figure out that I'm, you know, I'm I, I'm 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 not who I say I am. And I was talking to Eric about this, and I was like, Why do you think I have these 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 feelings all the time? These feelings of like. Um, you know, it, it like the other shoe is going to drop or something is going to happen. And it's just like, it's going to come out. It's a thing. That's my life, right, Jocelyn? That's my life, right? And so I'm talking and I'm, I'm kind of researching this because it's just been this nagging feeling. And I realized it's a legit thing. It's like a real legit thing, this imposter syndrome. And, um, and then I re and then Eric was talking to me. Yeah, oh, parenting, right? Right. And it comes in, and I think moms suffer from it. Women, it's Carrie. It's life. It's your, it's your entire frigging life, this whole fake it till you make it, right, Renee? And then Eric Eric was so funny. He goes, he goes, um, yay, happy birthday, and Andrea. Um, he goes, he goes, what do you think people are going to find out about you? He goes, <laughs> You're a hot damn mess, and you put it out there for the entire world to see. What on earth do you think they would figure out? He goes, it's not like you're on there lying. He goes, you tell them all sorts of crap that I would never say in public, let alone to the entire interweb. And I was like, oh, man, you're right. He's like, it's not like you get all dolled up before you go on a live stream or you worry about what you're wearing or what you're saying. He goes, you just tell your crap. You just air all that laundry out. He goes, why would, and I'm going, 
oh man, I think you're right. I think you're right. And he goes, that, that's stupid. And so I think part of it is just, he's so fluey, Carrie. He's sick as a dog. And you feel, Megan, you feel that way daily. And I think it's just, it's such, we have so much anxiety. We have so much anxiety and stress and pressure. And I think that we just, we internally like combust at times. And that just, and that just, um, I think that just mounts up on us, right? And so, uh, Brittany says, I don't, I have, I don't care syndrome. <laughs> Yeah, you know my business already, Jennifer. It's like it, it's it's. I think we just assume that we we're always waiting for the other shoe, bing, to drop. And it's like, well, you know, if I just tell you exactly what's going on anyway, I guess I don't have to wait for the other shoe. Secretly, I'm Princess Leia. No, I don't think so. Although I'm sure I'm sure that's some weird fantasy of my husband's because he's a big um. That was Star Wars, right? Star Wars fan. He'll kill me if I said that. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's it, it's just, you, you have so much anxiety, daily, daily, daily grind anxiety, and that's tough. And, and if, you don't ha if you don't suffer with that, that's awesome. I think that that's great. If you're suffering with that, I feel you. I really feel you because it is a daily thing in my life. So I've definitely been um, trying to work on that. Because you don't want that to crip, you know, to cripple you, and and I get it. it's like who cares? And that's why I did this. That's why I started this in the first place. That's why. How adorable is this? Um, we got. I found not that you can see them, but they have matching undie sock sets. Little girls have the cutest stuff. All right, any whoozle McToozle. Um, F U syndrome, Megan. No, I don't know. I'm sure that's a thing. <laughs> Yeah. So here's, so, so you got to just go with it. Hey, Amy. Hello, hello, hello. You just got, you got to go with it and you got to just realize that, uh, it is what it is. And, um, and, and we, and we go, you know, Oh, Denise, Denise says her daughter calls her out and says, you're so different when you're home than when you're out. Jessica says she's suffering from that. Yeah. Amanda, stress and anxiety. Yeah. It's a thing. It's a thing. Yep. I know. I know. So it's, yeah, you have mini breakdowns once a month. Okay, well, that's okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. No, don't isolate, Kelly. Come here. Come here and vent, vent, vent away with us. It's good. It's good. Don't isolate. Do not isolate. You just come here and hang with us. You just come do laundry with us. Look, look, more matching undies and socks. Get out of here. How cute is that? Get out of here. Come on. That's adorable. I had to get her all new underwear and socks because the dog had eaten every single pair. Every single pair of um, undies and socks. That's right, you. Talking to you. Yeah, she's so bad. Yeah. Stress and anxiety. Sometimes I think that's our middle names as women, yeah? Okay, moving on. So... The the dogs are the kids, Tess. Tess says, do you ever just want to kill them, LOL? The dogs are the kids. Well, the dogs on a daily. The kids on the daily. <laughs> but I keep them. <laughs> but I keep them. The dog was even. Lorianne says, I'm going to send you that picture on my couch. The dog was even under there. My dog can't fit under there. My dog is, my dog is large. You want to see my dog? There she is. Say hi, Pupanese. Meow. She's like, Mom, don't talk to me. Don't talk. Don't talk to me, Mom. <laughs> there are my girls. <laughs> yes, it's called parenting, Kristen. I feel ya. All right, so no shame in crying, Jeanette. No shame. No shame in that game for Shirzy. Yeah. Yeah, we need mini breakdowns. I think that's just part of it. We need to have those. We really, really do. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Oh, Mary says, glad I can see what my future is. I have a two and a five-year-old. Well, it's it's okay. You just have to find the spot to be okay with it. And if you can do that, that's good. Um, I know, Helen. I know. Hey, Fauna. Uh, who, doesn't, who likes socks, especially in the folding process? You never find them all. And then you got to flip them all inside out. Do you know, I could probably remulch my entire front entryway if I just dumped out my kids' socks and shoes into the front of my home. 
I, I, I can guarantee you that the amount of mulch and, and sand and rocks that come out of their socks and shoes would completely fill the front bed in my home out front. So I think I'm going to start doing that. Children, take your socks and shoes off. Shake them in there. Mommy doesn't want to buy any new mulch, okay? Is Bulletproof Coffee hard to make? Does it taste better? It is not hard to make. You brew it in your coffee pot. You just then throw it into a blender and you zap that puppy. I throw some vanilla in there. I throw some butter in there and it is easy and it's a latte then because it gets all frothy and nice. And that's why, that's what got me hooked um, months back when I, when I went to a, a Bulletproof. That's what got me hooked. And I was there last week. They were so nice. They were so nice. Um, they let me take over their entire front entryway of the store and I was so loud. I was so loud and people were looking at me and they were like, they were trying to um, work because because in California, people go to coffee shops and work like they set up and it's like virtual office and they're there and they're typing away and I'm over in the corner, blah, 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 chickens lay different color eggs, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I hope they don't kick me out. <laughs> and they were so nice. Um, they were so sweet to me. They actually gave me the bigger mug. This is the bigger mug because um, when I, I went in, I had a, um, it is, Lorianne says, Bulletproof Coffee is life. She likes it. Um, I got the bigger mug because I was like, ooh, you guys have the larger beakers? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, I need to take that with me. And so she wrapped it up in, in bubble wrap for me because I had to stick it in my suitcase. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Joy, they have the, co you can do coconut oil. I had a, I had a vanilla coconut latte while I was there. I don't do that a lot here because the coconut, um, my kid, nobody else drinks the coconut milk. So it's, it goes, it gets wasted because you can't, um, uh, you can't, um, drink it all before it expires. Okay. Well, I can, Ashley. I'll do that. I'll make a, I'll make a, um, a little video of that. I will do that. I just need the BM's help on that. So I will. BM to help me make the BP. <laughs> Yes, so let's see. So, um, there will be, oh, it's all over the place, but if you click the link above, you can order it and have it strip, sh stripped, Woo, shipped straight to your door. Oh, thank you, Tara. Got my piggies in today. Oh, did he, Dawn? Oh, I have to check it out. Dr. Oz did a show on it. I like him. You know, he is a, a well-fit man for his age, I have to tell you. He, um, he's in shape. They had that old Dr. Oz. Yeah, that old Doc Oz. Well, Amber, I will make a video on that, and I'll get that out to you guys so you guys can see it. So, oh, nice. Helen drinks it after her husband leaves for work, so she doesn't have to. <laughs> um, yeah, you can. You can make it with all non-dairy. That you can, you can do anything to it, and it still comes out like a whipped latte, which is very nice. Okay. Let's see, what else do we got in here for the good of the order? You, oh, you could make coconut milk ice cubes. That's not a bad idea either. Oh, thank you, Terry. <laughs> yeah, there's no point in matching socks because they don't wear them matching anyway. Nobody's stripping, Jeanette. <laughs> Nobody's stripping. Um, but, um, yeah, he is. I like him, Tara. I like Dr. Oz. I have watched him time and again. So after this, since I did finish this load today, which is amazing, we actually, I did the whole load while I sat here, I get to go switch the towels and the pee sheets from last night because um, poor six-year-old, I don't know if we're ever going to potty train. I just feel for him. We cannot, we cannot make it more than a couple of days without an accident. Yeah, yeah, you can use the ghee. Oh, hey, Samantha, welcome live. Yeah, that's the thing that we do. Um, look, this was just one. I'll show you. You want to see all of the laundry that got done? Can you see it? Mountains and mountains and mountains. That's what's been getting done. Mountains and mountains and mountains. Oh, yes. April's baby is a delight. Yeah. All right, so... Okay, so uh, matching socks. Who does that? All right, so make sure to check them out. If you've not been over there, head over there. They have a bunch of different stuff. They even have chocolate, which is really nice because I just got in some sea salt chocolate, and it's a delight. 
Um, so, and we do get 10% off with the code. So head over there today and check it out. Um, if you have a chance, and I will post it in here when we are done, uh, I was nominated for a couple of awards, which was very, very exciting, Iris Awards, and I was nominated for the Today's Parents' Choice Award. So you guys can vote on that if you haven't done that, and I will put that in there, and you can just go to that link and put in your name and your email address, and you get to vote. And I am up against some pretty stiff competition, including Cat and Nat, whom I adore. But if you want to vote for me, I would love it if you'd vote for me and um, this community, because this community is just exploding, and it's so exciting to see. And it's, it's just been such uh, a therapeutic thing for me. Uh, so I'm very, very, very excited about that. So I'll put that in the comments if you want to vote for me there. Make sure to head over and check out Bulletproof. And um, you guys have an absolutely fantastic Friday. I will keep you posted on Dance It Out because we did have a surprise family visit. So we might be meeting up uh, with family tonight and I might not be able to do Dance It Out, but I will let you know. But um, there will be a video posted on the feed today at 1 p.m. Eastern Time if you want to watch that. And you guys have an absolute, oh, thank you, Andrea. You guys have an app, Megan. Thank you guys so much for voting. You guys have an absolutely fantastic Friday, and I will see you very, very soon. Oh, thank you, Brittany. I know I love them. Thank you. All right, bye, guys.